Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? about parking. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. I thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. Seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One we'll head into tomorrow, too. Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is, I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saw a lot of step down? Pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow. Once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch. Not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their They're shit They're trying. Together. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. 
Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. What about? Italy spoke spears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. tomorrow no worries everything's under control good good night Saul. wait hmm? i feel i need to make one thing clear you've done a lot for this clan and for me more than anyone ever has but the family comes first so let me finish i also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point if pan am and me if we went our separate ways the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but oddly enough, family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. Hope so. Take care, Saul. Good night. Good night. Do you have a reason to live? Because we do. I have no reason to live. I hate sun.
is coarse, rough, irritating. 